quite forgotten how handy Rayards are. Hey, I agree with you for once, Shorty. I've always said a beautiful creature like myself belongs high in the majestic sky. Beautiful? You? <laughs> the dictionary in your brain has its definitions reversed. I have to agree, though. I've never felt anything quite like riding a Rayard. I mean, what person hasn't dreamt of flying? Seems to me we were doing just fine on foot. Is the Rayard not to your liking, Lady Marta? It's just... What keeps a hunk of metal like that in the air? It's thanks to Wiener's Law. That's Werner's Law, Colette. Yeah, but there's nothing protecting you. If you fall, you'll die. Actually, we crashed in a Rayard once, but we're still here to tell about it. Marta, are you afraid of heights? Uh, of course not. I just don't understand why everybody's so in love with the stupid Rayards, that's all. It's been quite a while. Yes. This is where our last journey began. Really? Yeah. It's where I received the Oracle and set out to regenerate the world. A lot happened. It's not like all that much time has gone by. But somehow, it seems like it all happened so long ago. It's sort of a strange feeling. Huh? I... I thought I'd never forgive the Chosen and her companions for causing the giant tree to lose control. But now I find myself traveling with those very people. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I was the one who didn't understand. A Chosen has her own life to live. You have a past and a present. You didn't just appear out of nowhere to kill Mom. We all play the starring roles in our own stories. When those other than ourselves appear on stage, we tend to view them only as minor characters. But in the end, it doesn't work that way. Realizing that may be the first step towards becoming an adult. Hey now, Marta, my sweet. You look as though you've put your foot in your mouth and didn't much care for the taste. Leave me alone, Zealous. You took a question you haven't even answered for yourself and piled it on Emil's shoulders. But you knew you were doing it as you did it, and you regret it. Am I wrong? What do you mean? What question? I mean the one that goes, let's see now, which Emil do I like the best? Y you're wrong! I... both Emils are important to me. After all, they're both... They're both a meal. You're not mistaken there. That's why it's hurting you so much. But... Then what should I have done? I knew what I was saying was unfair, but I couldn't stand to have the other Emil just disappear. If that's really what you think, you should stand by it. What? If that's your true feeling, then be straight with it. Don't say things to Emil that you'll only regret as soon as they leave your lips. He's got more to deal with than any of us. If you honestly don't want to lose any part of him, then you did the right thing in saying so. <laughs> Zelos. Both personalities are a meal. It's only natural for you to fall in love with both. They're the same person. All that's left is to believe in him and wait. Right. Thank you. So, this is my final time as Emile Castanier. I've got to take one long last look at this world, take stock of what I've left undone, and finish the job. <laughs>